One of the agents has got a new Peugeot partner in for touring today. It's uh, it's running a Bosch EDC 17C60 engine control unit. I've not done the development on this control unit yet, uh, so we're just going to have a quick look at what what's involved. I've got the dyno sheet, what he sent me. I've also got various data logs. Data logs are showing me the real pressure, uh, injection quantity, intake air temps, exhaust gas temps, uh, requested actual boost pressures, boost control. Um, I've got all sorts of stuff there, saved in the log. So, uh, this is the software area, Persian partner. Luckily, I've got a Damos file as well, what matches these EDC 17C60. So, the Damos file is important for identifying maps and also giving us the factors and offsets. So, if I start going through the map, uh, I can start picking stuff out. We've obviously got a real pressure limiter here. Uh, and various other real <coughs> limiters around here. We've got one there. I can confirm this as well if I look at the Damas file for it. So, we've got a real pressure one there. I think there's also one there yeah uh, so we go through the map identify all the maps that's required to tune it we obviously want all this uh, ACU torque control we all want is uh, torque conversion maps as boost maps as real pressure maps uh, and in these control units there's a lot of stuff so we start going through the map a little bit and just pick out a few maps we've got as duration map there And we can confirm this by going along the Damas and finding it in the Damas file. So again, we've got a duration map there. Uh, so we can see we've got uh, injection quantity downside from 0 to 100. And we've got as rail pressure along the top as well. So we know what the duration map scaled for. So we know how much we can go up to, which is 70 milligrams, I would say. The under is not used. So we, you, we would use that scaling of the map so we'll move forward a little bit more see what else we can find these I would highly suspect are uh, smoke maps what I mean by that it will be uh, run off your airflow meter so volume of air coming into your engine over your engine RPM and then the map itself will be uh, newton meters but we will just confirm that this is a uh, again a Bosch EDC 17C 60 engine control unit so we'll try and find these files and see if I was right so if we look at the map yeah smart limiter uh, so uh, again along there it's the math sensor so we've got as a smart limiter the map itself is newton meters of torque and then this scaling is the obviously engine RPM. So these will obviously be limiting the internal ECU calibration of the torque. Uh, so there's no point in us tuning. We'll just get the factor for that one. So the maximum this is set up to is 255-260. So uh, if we tune the uh, torque limiters higher than that, it would never go higher than this because this map would always restrict it. So when tuning engines, it's, you, you've got to correctly calibrate all the maps to work within each other. Uh, it's not just a case of, like many tuners do, coming along, oh, what's this map? Let's put 10% on it because it looks like it does something. This is how a lot of tuning companies will work without really understanding why they're tuning it. Uh, so we can move forward some more. We've found some torque limiter maps. I'll show you how to uh, correctly identify these. If you go at the front of the map uh, and look down here, we can see the size of the map, which is 22. So if you do this, count along 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, through on 22. We can know the map starts at 1CE9A4 and it's a 22. 
So if we go as map, which was a 22, which starts at 1, C, A, 9, A, 4. It's 22 by 1. And then we go as map. So we know the top line is engine RPM. And if we put the factor in for the torque, we can see the uh, torque request here. So that is one of the torque limiters, one of many. Uh, we'll also have to find the torque conversion map to see what that's uh, scaled to and see what we've got to play with. So again, we'll go through all the map, identify all the maps needed. Once we've got all them, we can, you've got another torque limiter there. We can find out what all uh, the maps are doing and we can calibrate them all to work with each other. So we get correct ECU control, uh, correct calibration. It's quite an in-depth engine control at this, so I would probably suspect it'll take me a couple of nights uh, development of getting a map pack all med for it. Once I've got the map pack all med, then I can uh, tune the software. Uh, so again, it all works within each other. I think all the boost maps, yeah, the boost maps and the real pressure maps at the front here. That's a real pressure map. And again, if I go and look at the Damos file, I can find all the, yeah, this is a real pressure map. So the factor for the real pressure So you can see it's, uh, it is uh, very time consuming to build map packs, but once I've built a map pack for this vehicle, uh, we can correctly tune it. Uh, next time I come to tune one, it'll be a lot easier. I do create map packs uh, for each and every vehicle I'm tuning, not Danos files like these. I create map packs uh, which have maps what's needed for tuning engines. Uh, so that's a look at the new Peugeot partner which is a Bosch EDC 17C60 engine control unit. This is a 100 brake horse model, the 1.6. Uh, and we'll see what she makes on the dyno.